All right, well here we are getting ready to get started on our 360 degree virtual tour of the South Lot RV parking at Balloon Fiesta. This is the 2023 event and we're going to try to see as much as we can here, but we won't see it all. Important notes about watching these 360 degree videos is they're always best watched on a 4K device because that really is, uh, that's going to give you the best resolution. And also make sure if you're watching on YouTube that your uh, video choice is at the highest resolution. Sometimes YouTube will, will downscale and, uh, and if you don't see it say 21p, then you probably, you probably want to pick one of the higher resolution videos. Uh, you can scroll around and look in 360 degree uh, directions. You can also zoom on some devices, uh, tablets and such. Uh, I don't know if you can do that on TVs. Different apparatus have different capabilities. But, uh, but here we go. We're driving into the entrance right now. And we're going to, as said, we're going to try to get as much as we can. But we will... Uh, We'll be missing a couple of spots. The first step that we're going to do, well, note there's a there's a check-in here in the blue building. That's where you're going to stop and check in. You can also buy water refills or dumps there. They'll give you a little placard, I guess, that you can use. We haven't tried that yet. We're going to go down this uh, this aisle here that is. Uh, kind of straight through maybe a little bit to the right of the check-in center and see what this looks like I think We're gonna go straight down here and We'll be making a left. I Don't know exactly what this row is called. I haven't seen it and I think this may be a premium lot it is directly north of what they call the box and sometimes some of the balloons will land there so I think the advantage of being uh, backed up to the box is that you can look at and watch those balloons right out your back window in the morning time while you're having your coffee. There's just one row of, of RVs along this section here from what I can see. Um, and there are, of course, multiple lots to put RVs. They've got a lot of RVs out here. This is our first time. Yeah, you can see there's another lot back here to our right now. And we're not going to go in there. I don't know if that's a, you know, a private group or what, but shuttle stop directly in front of us. So there is a shuttle there that will take you to the event. And that for us has been convenient. It didn't take uh, long for the shuttle to come around and it cuts off about a mile of walking if you're in the south lot here. So more, more sites here along the left that that point right into the box. So again, these these are probably a slight premium to the typical South Lot sites. Um, worth doing probably. If, I think it's not a whole lot more. I'm not sure what the prices are. I do know it looks like the prices are going up next year from what I saw. Um, I think they're going to be $50 for a basic spot instead of $40 this year. There are rigs of all sorts out here. You've got everything from huge million dollar class A's to uh, even I think we've seen some truck campers or certainly vans and such so it's all all different kinds of rigs out here 
The weather this year has been just phenomenal. I, I don't imagine it could be better. Today, I think, is going to reach into the high 70s. Um, the morning, this morning, our thermometer said it was 55 out, so you really can't ask for a lot better than that. You know, you just need a light jacket. Um, and it's been dry, so it hasn't been very uh, dewy, even walking around on the grass in the field. We didn't get our shoes wet or anything. So I don't think that's how it always is out here, but that's how it's been so far this trip. This is a Sunday and we've been here since Thursday. So we're gonna continue up. You can see a shuttle stop on the left here and there is a, a tent. I forget which uh, group that is, but that's one of the tours here. We'll see a few of them. This is bus stop three. And we're gonna continue straight up this this road here kind of on the I think this is maybe the looks like it's probably the west side of the of the south lot yeah we're driving due south so that has to be the west side to our right We're not going to drive down each one of these aisles here. We're passing aisle 51. Uh, I think you can get a pretty good view of it from just us driving by this far, so we're not going to zigzag through those. We are going to go through some of the other aisles as we get to them. Um, 49 here is another aisle. We're not going to actually go down, but uh, you can kind of see what that looks like. Look at this, this big Class A. They've got a rig up here. That is about perfect for viewing balloons from there. Wow. Here we're passing 47. Similarly, we're not going to drive down 47. I think you can get a good view of it, a pretty good view of it from here. Then you've got some trash receptacles here. 45 is an area in here. There's an aisle down 45 and 44. We're gonna go to the end of this and then we're gonna start to weave through this other section up here. You can see down, almost down to the fields from up here, I think. So that is an advantage of being here is that you you're raised up a little bit, so you might have a little better of a view down there. We're gonna work our way back around. So here's the, we're coming up to a honey truck here, and this is the $30. You can either get a fill or um, they'll dump your tanks for you. We have not tried that, but we may at some point. Hard to say if we will do that before we leave or not might just find a place as we're exiting. Now this road, if you head straight down the direction that we're heading in now, you go to the exit. But we're going to weave our way in and out of these and kind of show what these sites here are. This is row 36 here. So yeah, you can see they're packed in pretty good, but there's enough room. There seems to be enough room for everybody here. Now we're just gonna meander about here. I'm not sure what this row here is that we're on. It's sort of bridges in between these, but we're going to go up 34. And see if you can see your friends here. If you've got some, you might be able to spot them. Got some open spaces here. That's a little surprising.
once again we're up here to the uh, to the kind of the main exit road we're just gonna weave back down after we make our left and we'll go down row 32 next Someone likes KC. Still a few spots here. I'm surprised. I guess uh, maybe people left already because I'm pretty sure these were all filled up, and I'm and I'm pretty sure they will all be filled up again. Uh, but maybe people have uh, departed. A few people have departed already. That's what I think. All right, and we're going to enter. This is um, kind of the main entrance road. So we're looking straight ahead at where we came down um, when we were tracking the back of the box. If you kept going straight, you'd eventually get to that. But we're going to make it right here. We're going to head up row 30. Looks like they, this area here, they have some parking. I'm not sure if they're going to put RVs in this area or maybe it's just parking. It's not very level, so probably. And my guess is they don't put RVs in there, maybe. Now we're going to keep to the right here and we're not going to go down this next row here which is to our left because I think you can see everything just fine from here so we're not going to we're going to save a little time there truck or the water truck, not sure which that is. I think we'll be able to get around them. This is the water truck. All right, we're coming up to the kind of the main road again here. As you check in, if you, uh, if you make a left, this is kind of the main route that they'll bring most people in. We're going to make a right here and go up 25. came over this morning and a, a few came right over us. Um, and it, that was something because you can hear their, um, their burners when they kick them on. They're quite loud. Off to the left, we're going to come to the first of the Fantasy RV Tours tents. Um, this is the smaller tent. They actually have two here. There's a larger tent, and we'll see that uh, maybe in a little bit. But uh, we stopped in and talked to them, and it, it looked like a really nice program. We're not familiar with it, but, uh, but they've got a lot of uh, people here. I think they said they have about 300 people um, that have attended this, and so they pre-booked the spots. and. They cook up dinners, and uh, it looks like a, a pretty nice program if you're into that kind of thing. Um, 
uh, we'll include a little bit of an interview we did there in our in our upcoming video as well or our sister video to this uh, 360 tour so now we're going to go down 23 and uh, i think a lot of these are part of the fantasy rv tour i think they put them all kind of in a similar location here or local proximity um, they they must have all i don't think they could have all arrived at the same time so they they probably they're big enough they probably allocated a, a chunk of space normally if you're coming here you're going to want to arrive with whoever you're coming with so that you can be parked near each other um, but i'm suspecting for this they didn't they didn't end up having to do that we're back out to the main drag and we're going to make our our right here and now you see the larger tent that fantasy rv tours has up ahead here and to our left and that's pretty good size they can get a lot of people in there and they do various uh, activities like say they have their their meals that they serve there okay we are not gonna go up 20 because it's pretty occupied right now looks pretty similar to the others yeah there's two trucks up there um, but we will head up 19 and here you can see there's quite a few um, quite a few pretty nice class A's up here and a lot of these are part of the fantasy RV tours it looks like you can see they're marked on the some of them have little uh, um, passes on the fronts that that say fantasy RV tours yeah it looks like some like pretty nice group of folks and there is a shuttle stop up here so again you can uh, just walk here and wait for the shuttle one tip I'll mention is that uh, it's gonna take you a while to get into the park and and although it may not take you long to get on the shuttle, it hasn't taken us very long. Um, when you get to the park, there's a large line and the wait can be quite long there, so factor that in. So we're gonna come down this row, which is 17 here now. And this is how they route people out the exit. So if you're leaving the park, they kind of recommend you take this, sort of doing the opposite of what we do. You'd come up this road here and then you're going to um, you're you're going to make a left turn onto that exit boulevard, and that's a straight shot out. Here we are at the main drag again, and this happens to be right across the way from from where we are, I think, or pretty close to where we are. We'll get to that in a little bit. And we'll go up 15 here. We're gonna make a, we're gonna beat this guy going up 15. Good, didn't wanna get stuck behind him. Yeah, there's just all sorts of different rigs here. It's really neat. We have not been to a you know rally style event of this size before or even close to this size. So this was uh, kind of a new experience for us, but a lot of fun and everybody's quite friendly and seem to be pretty happy here. We'll make our left onto the exit row and now we're going to go down row 12 row 12 is 
think the last row before the entrance. Yeah, the entrance is directly to our right, so there's no, no additional rows uh, past this. There's another, they've, they've got two sets of parking, they're back to back, as you can see, but no rows after that. After that becomes the Elmer Fudd parking lot. And if you're here, you'll want to remember that if you take the shuttle because you've got to get in line to uh, the Elmer Fudd parking area when you do that. So here we are back pretty much where we started at the entrance location. And we're going to make a right and then we're going to follow up along the edge of, this would be then the east edge of the box. And again, the spots now to our right, those are going to be more um, uh, premium spots. I think there's, they're not a lot more expensive, but you do have a nice view of the box and you can see balloons landing. I don't think they land there all the time. It depends on how the wind is blowing, but uh, a few times today they've, or today and yesterday they landed there. So I suspect most days there's gonna be some landing there. And we're going to drive up here. We are just ahead and to the left up here. So we're not, we're not too far off. I think the bet you'll get the better spots if you're just in standard, if you, the earlier you get here, that's my belief. They leave this area open and this is, uh, this is, I think, accessed by the chase vehicles. We saw some chase vehicles that head in there to pick up balloons and, uh, and so, and also a lot of people will queue up there or put their chairs there and watch the balloons landing. So that's kind of nice. And we are back home. We're directly to the right here. And we're gonna drive up just a little bit further. Now we're behind the uh, Fantasy RV Tours big tent. So anyhow, I think we're going to wrap this up here. We appreciate you joining us on this, and hopefully it's helpful. For us, we didn't know what to expect when we came here, and I think this uh, might, might illuminate that a little bit more. Uh, there are other lots, and we're not going to be doing those, but this is, this is the south lot, and I think it's the largest lot, and also I believe it's also the most affordable lot. So. Um, Thanks again for joining us, and we're going to sign off now.